Hello learners this is Habiba with UGC Net Paper 2 Education Unit 3 Learner and Learning Process with the subtopic Personality Theories Today we are going to learn about Kurt Kofka Introduction Kurt Kofka was a German psychologist and professor He was born and educated in Berlin Germany He died in Northampton massaged from coronary thrombosis he was influenced by his maternal uncle a biologist to pursue science he had many interests including visual perception brain damage sound localization developmental psychology and experimental psychology he worked alongside max verdimer and wolfgang kohler to develop gestalt psychology Kofka had several publications including The Growth of the Mind and Introduction to Child Psychology in the year 1924 and The Principles of Gestalt Psychology in the year 1935 which is elaborated on his research Now let's understand his contributions to psychology first related to learning Kofka believed that most of early learning is what he referred to as sensory motor learning which is a type of learning which occurs after a consequence for example a child who touches a hot stove will learn not to touch it again kofka also believed that a lot of learning occurs by imitation though he argued that it is not necessary to understand how imitation works but rather to acknowledge that it is a natural occurrence according to kofka the highest type of learning is ideational learning which makes use of language kofka notes that a crucial time in children's development is when they understand that objects have names Now what about gestalt psychology Kofka gained his initial interest in gestalt psychology after participating in Verdimer's pi phenomenon study the pi phenomenon study which we have learned in the previous video in 1910 Kurt Kofka worked alongside Max Verdimer and Wolfgang Kohler at the Psychological Institute in Frankfurt they focused their research on sensory information and memory and later became the founding fathers of gestalt psychology max verdimer is often credited with developing the idea of gestalt psychology but they were influenced by christian von ortheffel's idea that a holistic melody is more than a simple combination of various sounds this later becomes essential to theories of gestalt psychology which convey that complete perception is more meaningful than its individual parts put together the gestalt principles were developed to uh, develop into how the human eye perceives visual elements the principles have to provide ways to understand how complex visual elements can be broken down into smaller parts the principles all also try to demonstrate how the human eye perceives shapes as a single object instead of splitting the object into simplified components of the object being seen some of the most commonly used principles were proximity similarity and continuation gestalt principle of proximity discussed that visual elements close to one another will be perceived as a whole then gestalt principle of similarity establishes that people tend to categorize objects that share the same traits into a group then gestalt principle of continuity reveals how people perceive lines or curves as a whole if they touch one another kofka needed to provide empirical evidence for the new theory to accomplish this kofka formulated a three stage proposition 
that revolutionized existing assumptions of psychology. Perceiving sensory experiences as a combination of individual parts does not align with the actual experience of perception. The school of Gestalt suggests that human sensory experience be viewed as a whole since wholes are more meaningful than the sum of its parts. It is a mistake to correlate a stimulus with sensation because functionality of a stimulus must be paired with factual information. Stimuli should be correlated to factual content of the perceptive field. Uh, the previous two premises hold that the relationship between the psyche and physical needs to be reconsidered. In 1922, Kurt Kofka published an article called Perception, an introduction to the Gestalt theory. In the psychological bulletin to introduce Gestalt psychology to the American academics, the article focused on describing how Gestalt psychology studies various perceptual phenomena using different theories from existing ones. After its publication, it led to the criticism of Gestalt psychology that it was overly focused on the perception and lacked contribution to overall themes of psychology. Now, let us understand about aesthetic Gestalt. In 1940, Kurt Kofka travelled to Philadelphia and attended a conference at Brian Moore which brought together many different well-known figures from different fields of study to approach art from different perspectives. At the time, many subjects such as culture, ecology, evolution, emotion, psychology, knowledge, physiology had been treated as their own independent fields with no connection to one another. Kurt Kofka attempted to make a multidisciplinary theory of art known as Aesthetic of Gestalt. Kofka's presentation at the conference advanced the scientific theory of art, but it is a neglected theory that has mostly been forgotten after his publication. The main focus in aesthetic theory is the appreciation of beauty in art pieces. There are three components in the relationship, the self, that means the spectator, then the extraordinary art piece and the connection between the two. Aesthetic of Gestalt illustrates that the self, the individual sees that there is an important message when observing the art piece. Kofka identifies three problems with the aesthetic experience. The first is contingency, while behaviorists believe that art naturally evokes an emotional response, Kofka argued that the previous associations must exist to understand that redness for example means passion. This previous association is a rational and intelligible interaction that draws on a look up table, not blindly restoring to the look up table. The second problem is with the empathy based art theories about aesthetic and how the fact that people put their own emotions on to the art pieces is paradoxical. In order to uh, understand uh, different uh, terms, uh, in order to uh, Art pieces to appreciate it, the self must first recognize the emotion they must attribute to the piece. The third problem is that empathy logic implies that emotions projected by the self on the art piece are to be felt by others. However, just because the person perceives that red is passionate does not mean they are feeling the same passion themselves. Now, let us conclude with a quotation of Kofka. It has been said that the whole is more than the sum of its parts. 
it is more correct to say that the whole is something else than the sum of its parts because summing up is a meaningless procedure whereas the whole part of relationship is meaningful so we come to the end of this session thanks for your attention and time as motivation please do like share subscribe and comment below happy learning